if you plan on taking photos of the solar eclipse with your cell phone, listen carefully. <laughs> You're definitely going to want to hear this. Well, the picture may be worth a thousand words, but it could also cost hundreds of dollars in damage to your camera. Our Neil Zarang is live in Little Rock with the answers on how to safely and easily take photos of the eclipse using your cell phone. Huh. Neil, I'm all ears. <laughs> Kevin Donna, well, you know, you're also going to want to think about your eyes when it comes to Monday. We've all heard about these different glasses that you can wear to protect the lenses of your eyes. You can also actually protect the lens of your camera. Your camera is going to need a filter, too, if you do plan to take pictures. And here's one reason why I spoke with a camera repairman who worked during the last uh, solar partial solar eclipse and he said after that whenever that came to Arkansas his store had to do several replacements of phone cameras which can cost between 60 to 400 dollars depending on which phone you have taking a picture of the sun is usually safe for a phone he said but for as long as people will be snapping away during the eclipse the UV rays could create black spots in all your future images just like a magnifying glass concentrate sunlight to burn a leaf. Uh, what I'm doing is not going to take pictures with my phone if I cannot find one of these. One of those is what's called a solar snap. It's specially designed to just Velcro onto the back of your phone, but you could use uh, glasses too. It just may require some tape, some ingenuity. Now, using a filter in the first place, that's a start. You also want to get a tripod to stabilize zoomed in pictures if you're really looking for the next thing. And you can download free apps like Solar Snap to manually adjust the exposure and the focus, those type of things that the phone tries to automate but it might not be right for the sun like it is for a face or landscape and you can also get those photos just taken for you as long as you've got the phone pointed in the right direction on that app and if you don't want to bother with the filter the best news is you don't have to during the most magic moment that path of totality that two to four minutes depending on where you are you don't have to wear your glasses you also don't have to put a filter on your phone if you want to capture that magic moment. Reporting live in Little Rock, Heels Rang. Back to you, Kevin Donna. All right.